Welcome to the Kurt Wyman Memorial Beehive located at Cornell Cooperative Extension in Oriskany, New York. Today we're going to learn about honeybees and this beehive was donated by the Mid-York Beekeepers Association so that you could learn more about bees. There are three types of bees in a honey beehive. First you have the queen bee. She's the biggest bee in your hive. She rules the roost. She is there to lay all the eggs and she is the mother of all the bees in the hive. All the bees work to make her happy. Have you ever heard the saying, if mom's happy, everybody's happy? That's with being a bee as well. The second bee that you have in the hive are the drones, and they are the boy bees. And you can tell them because they have big antenna and they have big eyes. And their purpose is to marry the queen. Da, 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 da. Finally, the third bee we have are the worker bees, and they're all the girl bees, and their job is to do all the cooking, the cleaning, the vacuuming, the dishes, the shopping, the taking care of the babies, protecting the hive, and going out and finding all the nectar and the pollen. So those are the three bees in the hive. Now, as a beekeeper, when I'm getting ready to go into a hive, I wear a white suit so that the bees can't sting me. I wear a hat with a net to protect me from the bees, and I wear long leather gloves so that no bees can sting my hands. All right, once I'm all suited up, I'm going to go and get ready to work with the bees. The first thing I'm going to do is start a little fire inside this can that's going to cause some smoke to come out. And I'm going to take the smoke and I'm going to fan my smoking can here and the smoke is going to go deep inside the beehive. Now when you smell smoke at your house, if you're smelling smoke, your first instinct is to get out of the house. But the bees don't do that. The bees say everybody in. Everybody get in and start beating your wings so that it cools down the temperature and their hive doesn't melt. So the bees are so busy flapping their wings and they smell the smoke that they don't worry too much about me, the beekeeper, as I'm starting to get into the hive. So let's open up the hive now. So we're going to get inside here and open it up so you can see what's going on. Now, the bees in this hive are busy. It's a little slow this time of year because it's winter time and there's not much, um, many flowers for them to visit. But you can see that they're walking around and you can see the honeycomb. And that's the little round discs you see in there and they use that to store the honey. The queen will lay her eggs in the honeycomb and they will also store pollen and nectar in there and the honey is what they eat all season or all winter long. The queen bee is deep inside right now taking a break because once it starts getting warm she's going to be laying up to a thousand eggs a day. Now when the flowers start to bloom the bees are going to go outside through this hole in the wall. You can see they can go right outside. They're going to go visit the flowers and they're going to come back and they're going to tell the other worker bees where to go to find the, the pollen and the nectar. And to do that, they're going to do a honeybee dance. All right, everybody stand up. Everybody stand up. Make some room for yourselves. Make some room because we are going to learn the honeybee dance. All right. Insects have three body parts. They have a head, just like we do. They have an abdomen, like we do. But they have a thorax, which you really don't have a separate thorax. They also have six legs. Everybody stomp your legs. All right, now I want everybody to walk in a figure eight. Go forward, turn, turn, and back. So you made a figure eight. Now that's what the bees do when they're telling somebody where to go find the pollen from the flowers. So we're gonna do the honeybee dance. Everybody ready? These are your wings. Everybody flap your wings. Get ready. You put your right wing in, you put your right wing out, you put your right wing in, and you shake it all about. You do a figure eight, and you turn yourselves around. 
that's where the pollen's found. Left wing, you put your left wing in, you put your left wing out, you put your left wing in, and you shake it all about. You do a figure eight and you turn yourselves around. That's where the pollen's found. Now, we're gonna do it again, but no words this time, you have to buzz. Left wing. All right, good job, everybody. Have a seat. Okay, now bees are very, very, very important. And once the hive gets full, a new queen bee will be born. But the, bee, the new queen and the old queen don't get along too well. So what's gonna happen is they're going to split the hive and the new queen is gonna fly away and take some of the worker bees and some of the drones with her. And that's called a swarm. And a swarm is a group of bees that are looking for a new place to live. Sometimes, though, they don't pick quite the best place to form a new hive. They can get into the walls of your house, in which case that can be very, very messy. So instead of putting pesticides and killing the bees, you need to call a local beekeeper and they'll come out and they'll get the bees for you. Bees are so important, we wouldn't have apples or pears or pumpkins or strawberries, all kinds of stuff without the bees pollinating them. So we really want to protect our bees and they are so important to us. Now some of you are going to get a chance to have some honey. I hope you enjoyed the presentation today and if you want to come and visit our beehive, we're open 8.30 to 4.30 Monday through Friday and you can walk through the gardens and even take a tour of our nature trail. Thank you and have a great day.